In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use ActionScript to make some basic mouse and movie clip interactions. Let's, let's get straight to it. In the movie, I've created two layers. One AS3, which will house all of our ActionScript. The second layer will house all of our movies. We only have one movie. I've named it Point, P-N-T, or, or acronym for. Let's get straight to the actions. I've created an add event listener, but I haven't created the function yet. I also have created two variable numbers, MPX and MPY, which we'll be using later. This is the function that I've set up so far. I need to write a simple f equation which will make the X and the Y of the movie clip the same as the active point of the mouse position, which is simply PNT dot x equals x no mouse x I'll just copy and paste that and change those x's to y's and when we test the movie clip we see that the movie clip follows the position of the x and y of the mouse this is great, but because of the slow frame rate, which is 12 frames per second, there is a lag. You want to do something similar to this effect. We want the mouse, we want the movie clip to follow the mouse point. So we'll set up this simple formula. It is the point that you want of interest, which I call the target, subtracted by where you want to go and divided by a speed. This formula will be on my website. This simple formula gives you the ability to make this cool effect which you'll see in a second. I'll change all the X's to Y's. Now this mouse X and mouse Y can be changed to another coordinate of anything that that can be able that has the X and Y parameters. So it can be another movie clip so movie clips can follow movie clips this is great for games and other things like that and also it makes really cool website effects let's test a movie as you see now it lags behind it it's it slowly m it crouches to it the further away the faster it goes the closer the more it creeps up on it this is a really cool effect and you can change here these tens which are the speeds the smaller the faster it will be. So if I do divided by 5, it will be twice as fast. Which offers a really cool effect. You know, I can see this being used in games, which people often do. Let's make another interaction. We're going to add another event listener. And we want to add this event listener to the stage. So I just copied and pasted. We're going to add the event listener to the stage. And the event listener that we want to add is a mouse event. Which will be a click. And we'll call it on click. Copy that function part up here. And we have to create a new function for the on click we just created mouse event and this is where we're going to use those mpx mpy that we j we created so we'll put m mpx equals mouse x mpy equals mouse Y and what we want to do is change the MPX we want to change the mouse X to MPX and the mouse Y to MPY that way when we click then it will go to the point so wherever we click the movie clip will follow this is done by taking the value of the X only when the mouse is down it's, initial, it's, it's initialized to zero, 0, so when we start up the movie clip, it will go to 
towards the corner of the movie clip. Let's see what I'm talking about. Let's test this out. As you see, it goes straight up to the upper corner of the movie clip. When we click down, it finds the X and Y point, which we put in the MPX and MPY by using the add event listener to the stage. So anywhere I click, it will go towards. This is a really cool effect that you can use for games or inter interactivity to websites. There can be a lot of things you can do with this. As one movie clip follows the mouse clicks, another movie clip can follow it. There are just a multitude of things that you can do with this process. Now a thing that we wanted that I want to create is a system that remembers where we clicked. So I'm going to create a new array. I'm going to call it call it MM for mouse movement points and it will data type it to an array equals new array and what we want is to create a temporary array which takes in the values and puts pushes it into the MMP so uh, when we click down we want it to be recorded we put it M M M. And we're gonna make a temp uh, var temp underscore array. Okay. Set the temp equal to the x and y, the mouse x and mouse y coordinates. So every time we click down temp, this it creates a new temporary array which brings in the x and mouse x and y values. Now we want to push we want to take the mouse movement points array and push it. What pushing does is it adds on to the array. So we're pushing the temp. So now every time we click somewhere, the point, the X and Y point are saved into the MMP array. Now I'm running out of time, so I just want to show you. I just have to correct the this temp here. It doesn't need to, I don't need these brackets here. I need a comma. And all right, now everything is set up properly. And let's test the movie to see the array being pushed full of the points of the X and Y coordinates of the mouse. Let's try it out. Now the output puts the X and Y that we just clicked on. Now anytime we click, the X and Y are pushed into the array, and all these points we have them. This is a really cool thing to do and in the next movie I will show you how to utilize these numbers into backtracking where things where you can move this movie clip from these memory points. So All of these numbers will be used for the benefit of the mouse. So in this tutorial you learn how to do two great things which is make the movie clip follow other movie clips via formula and the mouse and you learn how to make the movie clip stay right with the mouse and there's more to come this is Worth. if you like these tutorials don't forget to subscribe to my channel show your support by rating and commenting on my movies also go to my website on enterflash.blogspot.com thanks for watching also, on my website has all the code that you'll need to understand any of this, if you don't already.